Local firework retailers are hoping to end the year with a bang as their three-day December selling period wraps up today. KNEB.TV News starts right now. From your trusted source for news in western Nebraska and eastern Wyoming, this is KNEB.TV News. Presented by Platte Valley Companies, premier provider of financial services. Hello, I'm Ryan Murphy. This is KNEB.TV News, powered by Platte Valley Companies. Thanks for joining me. In our top story, this weekend snowstorm has hampered early sales for fireworks leading into the New Year's holiday. But local retailers are hopeful that now folks can shoot off fireworks until 1230 tonight. They'll see good foot traffic this evening. Retailers are only allowed to sell for the three days leading up to New Year's compared to the 10 days selling period leading up to the 4th of July. On the west edge of Scotts Bluff, Fireworks Unlimited owner Greg Troutman says he's got a great variety of fireworks for people to enjoy and welcome in 2020. We see a lot more one, you know, big 500 gram cake where you can light it once, get a lot of shots to celebrate at midnight, and then everybody hurries inside, you know, because it's cold. So you're not going to sit outside and celebrate, but we see a lot of bigger items go out the door. And across town on the east edge of town, Discount Fireworks owner Eric Wilcox says that despite December being a slower selling period, He's happy to have his doors open for those who do wish to shoot off fireworks for New Year's. Well, we we made a commitment to our customers that if if they helped us get it past that we'd stay open. So whether it's really bad weather or not, we're going to be open because we've made that commitment to our customers. People are reminded that they can only shoot off fireworks until 1230 a.m. And if you're shooting them off on the street, please clean up all debris before you head in for the night. Well, as we continue to count down our top stories of the year, our third biggest story of 2019 was a double fatal accident in June that claimed the life of Nebraska State Patrol Trooper Jerry Smith. The June 20th accident occurred just a mile west of Bridgeport on Highway 26th. Smith was on duty and driving eastbound when a vehicle swerved into his lane of traffic and struck his patrol unit head on. The following week, hundreds of law enforcement officers from across the country Nebraska Governor Pete Ricketts and community members honored the fallen Nebraska State Trooper. Hundreds of volunteers lined the streets while holding American flags for the funeral procession, which ran from Dugan Kramer Funeral Home to Western Nebraska Community College. Once the procession got to WNCC, pallbearers with white gloves carried the casket into the packed gymnasium. During the funeral, colleagues paid tributes to Smith for his work done for the Nebraska State Patrol and during his 25-year military career. Every step he took was well thought out and was always in the best interest of those around him. He loved his family unconditionally, he loved his country, and he loved his job. Jerry lived a life of service to his country, and that life should serve as an inspiration to all of us here in this room. Because it was a life that was lived for others. As you heard, he entered camp a little bit later in life than most. Camp 5-6, most of whom are here today. 5-6 was a big camp. It had the typical dynamics of a large camp, not without some human drama. But Jerry was all about the team. He was all about making things better. Trooper Smith was only the second NSP trooper from Troop E to die in the line of duty, and his name is forever memorialized on a plaque at Troop E headquarters. Well, coming up after the break, Bill Boyer will be in with your New Year's Eve weather forecast. We'll have that right after this on KNEB.TV News. At Platte Valley Bank, we believe it shouldn't cost you money to access your money. That's why we offer free ATMs anytime, anywhere. Whether you are across town or traveling abroad, there won't be an added expense to access the funds in your Platte Valley Bank account. Free ATMs are just one of the great benefits of banking with us. Stop by to talk to one of our friendly associates to discuss what else Platte Valley Bank has to offer. This chair is way too big. It's perfect for us. This one's tiny. That's because it's mine. Hey, this chair is just right. This bed is way too hard. 
It's perfect for me. This bed is way too soft. Ah, uh, just what I needed. This bed is just right. So come on over to Leaves Heads! When you're Arby's, you can do certain things, like load roast beef and curly fries onto a sandwich, add horsey sauce, Arby's sauce, and cheddar cheese sauce on there. Sell them two for six bucks. And when you're Arby's, you can call it the Arbonator. Because if you aren't, Arbonator is a super strange name to just invent. Arby's, we have the meat. This is KNEV.TV weather from the Arby's Weather Center. Arby's, we have the meat. Not a bad looking night tonight. Winds are going to be on the increase by tomorrow morning, though, as you see up into the 13, 14 mile an hour range, calm conditions as we go through the evening. So it's a pretty tranquil end to 2019. Winds are going to increase tomorrow. It will be breezy most of the week and uh, really no big storms are looming out there on the horizon. 31 yesterday after a morning low of 13. This is going to do it, I think, for the year. We're going to end at 1999, come up just shy of 20 inches out at the airport. That's uh, all four and a quarter inches roughly above normal, and we did all right for the month of December, a little below normal. Colder temps uh, filtering into the region in the 30s and 20s here with that snowpack in place. No problem with those temperatures falling. 8 in Craig, 10 over in Riverton. Here in the area, it's 29 in Ogallala, 26 in Alliance, 30 in Scotts Bluff. How about that 28 up in Lusk? And winds strongest in the wind-prone areas. We're going to be dealing with some pretty substantial winds. High winds, blowing snow concerns. If you're traveling west uh, out of Cheyenne on I-80, that is going to be a mess over there. And that's where those colder wind chills are as well. Temperatures in the wind chills right now in the teens and low 20s here across the region. Quiet skies, uh, quiet conditions tonight and clear skies till after we start 2020. And we'll see a few clouds overhead. That is really about it. Lows tonight are only going to fall into the 20s. It's going to be a milder night tonight than where we were last night and the last couple of nights. Then for the first full day of 2020, a few snow flurries or snow showers try to work across the region. They're going to be very few and far between, but can't rule out a flurry of snow or a snow shower uh, on day one of 2020. And uh, temperatures tomorrow going to climb into the 30s and 40s for the most part for us here across all of the region. So our forecast for tonight, Partly cloudy, a low of 25, winds about 10 to 15 miles an hour. A lot of people, though, want to know what it's going to be right at midnight. Well, as you can see here at the bottom of the chart, 2020 vision. Yeah, the new year comes in at 27 degrees. That's where we'll be at midnight tonight under partly cloudy skies. Not a bad looking night with partly cloudy and quiet conditions here across the region. And that leads to a really nice day for tomorrow. Other than breezy conditions, redevelop northwest winds. 15 to 25 highs in the low 40s. Not bad for the first day of the year. Can't rule out a few snow flurries as we mentioned as well. And then Thursday, Friday, breezy conditions. Probably the windiest day, maybe Saturday. And then look at uh, Monday, Tuesday, breezy and colder again. Saturday, we may top up to near 50 degrees, only to fall back into the low to mid 30s as we get into Monday and Tuesday of next week. So a very happy new year from all of us here at KNEB.TV and hope your 2020 is a fantastic one. Two of the most Arby's sandwiches ever made for six bucks. They're big, but downing two is possible. You just gotta believe in yourself. I believe in you. Arby's, we have the meat. Are you ready to join the celebration? Then what are you waiting for? Switch to Viero today and find out exactly why we're better. More towers than the competition. Convenient stores in your neighborhood. Friendly, helpful customer service, and top phones at excellent values, such as the iPhone XR for free. That's right, get a free iPhone XR when you purchase any other iPhone of equal or greater value. Viera Wireless, your better choice for wireless service. At Elite Physical Therapy, we provide preventative and rehabilitative treatments that maximize function and promote well being for patients of all ages. With two locations in Scotts Bluff and Gearing, we offer the convenience of you choosing your location with the same great services no matter where you go. Stop into one of our locations today in Scotts Bluff at 214 West 27th Street or in Gearing at 10th and M Street and see what Elite Physical Therapy can do for you. 
treatment you need and care you deserve. As we continue our countdown of the top stories of 2019, our second biggest story was the devastating irrigation canal and tunnel collapse that affected irrigators along the Goshen, Garing Fort Laramie Irrigation District. On July 17th, there was a partial collapse in a tunnel, which backed up the water in the canal and caused a breach in the canal bank upstream of the tunnel. For more than one month, crews worked diligently around the clock to find a solution to repair the tunnel and get water back to the farmers who rely on the water. The water disruption affected approximately 107,000 acres of crops, or about 35% of the total acres irrigated by surface water in the North Platte River Valley in both states. Approximately 55,000 acres were affected in Nebraska and 52,000 in Wyoming, and both states declared a state emergency. After temporary repairs, water was returned to the canal system on August 28th, and service to irrigators was restored in the days and weeks that followed. In the wake of the collapse, the daunting task of calculating the total costs of the repairs and moving forward with a permanent fix remained priorities for irrigation district officials. We'll take a look at local headlines now as Scottsbluff County's newly appointed public defender has been sworn in to office. District Judge Andrea Miller swore in Harry Moore this week to fill the vacancy left by Bernard Strecker. Last month, the Scottsbluff County Board of Commissioners unanimously approved the appointment of Moore to be the next public defender. He comes to Scottsbluff County from Arizona, and prior to his time there, he was the public defender in Madison County, Nebraska for 15 years. And a May trial date has been set for the man charged with three felonies for allegedly firing a handgun near a Gehring residence and threatening to harm co-workers earlier this month. 40-year-old Matthew Arnold entered pleas of not guilty during his arraignment in Scottsbluff County District Court last Friday to charges of unlawful discharge of a firearm, terroristic threats, and use of a firearm to commit a felony. The incident the morning of December 13th involving shots fired into the air from a pickup truck after a verbal altercation led to a day-long manhunt for Arnold and lockouts at area schools and a number of businesses. A pretrial conference in that matter has been set for August 22nd and the trial to take place in the May jury term. Well, straight ahead, Shabella Guzman will be in with her last check-in on Ag News of 2019. She'll have that right after this. Winter is upon us, and while safety is an important consideration all year long, there are some auto maintenance and safety checks that are specific to winter driving. To be sure you don't end up a road popsicle, take your vehicle to High Tech Auto and let Terry's team help you get an upper hand on Old Man Winter. Renewal by Anderson, proud of what we do. At Renewal by Anderson, we are a local family business. Everyone from our office and project management teams to the best installers anywhere works with our owner, Andy Stellflu, to give our clients a red carpet experience every day. We're proud to carry the best windows and patio doors for sure, but most of all, we're proud to help our clients improve their lives at home with a great investment. Contact us today. We'd be proud to earn your business. Renewal by Anderson, proud of what we do. You said yes. Together, you planned every detail. You married. And then you realized 500 square feet just isn't enough room for two. When life happens, find a home that fits. First National Bank North Platte. Start your mortgage pre-approval today. You decide to add another to your family. You start reading parenting books. You're amazed that such a small human could need so much space. When life happens, find a home that fits. First National Bank North Platte. Start your mortgage pre-approval today. This is KNEB TV Ag News from the First National Bank Ag Desk. First National Bank of North Platte, the bank to think of first. Leasing cattle is not a new idea and it can benefit both the leaser and leasee. Aaron Berger, Nebraska Extension Beef Educator, says there are some good reasons out there for leasing cattle, especially if you are just getting into the business. Primarily it's because if we look at the capital involved today to be in the cow-calf business, 
Uh, it's pretty capital intensive with fairly low return on investment. So when you look at the land, the value of the cattle, labor, equipment that all goes into that, we've got a lot of dollars invested for a fairly ro- low return. And so it provides a scenario with beginning or a limited resource producer. They might be trying to find a way to control more cattle to spread some of their labor and equipment cost, land cost out over a greater number of cows. And being able to lease cows from somebody else who has a cow herd can allow them to do that. Berger says in a leasing agreement, there should be definite responsibilities from each side. He explains the terms of a cash lease agreement. We're really looking at what's the economic value the cow owner's contributing. So we're looking at things like uh, cow value, cow depreciation, replacement rate, uh, some fair return on their investment. Of course, death loss goes into that. And then are they providing the bulls? And we look at what's that worth in terms of its economic value. And then the person leasing the cows should get some cash compensation to get paid basically for the value they're contributing. Berger says understanding the value each party brings to the table is important. He adds it's always a good idea to write down the terms in a document to the benefit of both sides. With KNEB.TV News, I'm Trebella Guzman. the card carrying fan get your husker visa debit card so you can take the game with you free with first free checking When it comes to helping local folks with the loans and financial advice they need, we don't horse around. Our only goal is to help you and your family achieve your financial goals with the right loans and savings products. So if you want to bank with people that care about you and your financial needs, stop by or give us a call. First State Bank. We're big on you. Member FDIC. Online at fsbcentral.com. Well, let's take a look what's happening on today's community calendar. That's a look at today's community calendar brought to you by First State Bank, honoring those who give back. Nominate your community champion at fsbcentral.com. Fox Butte General Hospital continues our mission to lead and innovate in healthcare delivery and community wellness. But this isn't just a hospital. This is home to exceptional patient care. This is the greatest place to work, receive care, and practice medicine. This is innovation in action. This is community wellness. This is where specialty clinics fit your needs. This is where a friendly smile, a warm hand, and an empathetic ear exist to care for you. We are Box Butte General Hospital. This is us. Great things are happening here since 1976. 
Are you looking for the perfect place to hold a wedding, family reunion, holiday office party, or business meeting? Well, look no further. The Hampton Inn and Suites Hotel and Conference Center is just the place for you. We're a full-service banquet facility that can host up to 400 of your guests. Stop in and see our spacious open concept meeting rooms and begin planning your special event or family gathering today. Let us do the work for you so you can enjoy your guests. For personal service, stop by the Hampton Inn and Suites front desk. At Platte Valley Bank, we offer loans with competitive rates and quick decisions from our experienced lenders. Our team works hard to get to know you and your business. From ag to auto, home loans and everything in between, we're here to help. Stop by Platte Valley Bank or apply online to find the loan that is right for you today. And finally tonight, we wrap up tonight's newscast with our biggest story of 2019, the disappearance of Chance Engelbert. The 26-year-old has not been seen or heard from since the night of July 6th. After getting into an argument, he left his in-laws home in Gehring and went for a walk to cool down. He was last seen heading north along 10th Street, and that following week, a massive search was conducted by the Gehring Police Department and more than a dozen other agencies. Despite searches by land, air, and water, local authorities found no traces of the young father. You know, the, the community came out and, and helped us successfully search a wide area. And unfortunately, the success is not what we had hoped for. The success is we can say with relative certainty that Chance isn't in those areas. Late this fall, Matt Miller, one of Chance's best friends began spearheading a new search. You know, we're not going to stop. Um, I finally got my job back at the mine, so I have seven off rotating every month. I'll be up here until it's done. It's now been 171 days and counting, but the whereabouts and countless missing puzzle pieces of what happened to Chance that night remain unknown, but family and friends remain hopeful that he turns up or some of their biggest questions get answered. But nearly six months later, Chance Engelbert continues to be in the minds and in the hearts of countless people, and hopefully he turns up safe and sound. Well, that does it for us this time. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a safe and happy new year. We'll see you back here on Thursday.